Well, I was just thinking that I haven't seen any moose yet today, and it's bound to happen any minute. And there she is, right there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep drifting that way. It is 11 o'clock, and I've already eaten most of my food for today. So awesome! This is just a beautiful, another beautiful spot right here. You know, this morning I was starting to think that maybe it would be a bit monotonous paddling the same river for like three days, but I gotta say, I've, I've never paddled this long on a river and it's amazing to just see the change in character of it. And then it opened up into this beautiful, beautiful wetland. Just so nice and open and beautiful. I really enjoyed this section of Nipissing actually. It's been very meditative. All done my portages for today. Feels really good. And I also wanted to note the fact for future reference that the campsite at the end of the 850 meter portage along the Nipissing is really nice. So this would be a potential good spot to stop in the future. Beautiful rapids here. And the site is pretty nice too. The fact that it's located at the end of a portage really doesn't matter because nobody's out here. Check it out. Wow, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Do you see that moose over there? Right there. Anyway, I'm sure he just looks like a blob to you, but he's actually pretty close, like right across from my campsite. I considered moving on because it was so early. This is a really nice campsite and I'm tired. And I'm hungry, I ran out of food except for my oatmeal, so I kind of wanted to stop and make that, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, I lied. I'm back on the water. <laughs> Took a light, nice long leisurely rest and uh, watched the moose, ate some oatmeal, had some hot chocolate, and then after refueling and resting for like an hour and a half, I was like, well, I'm going to be super bored for the next three hours. And all I really wanted to be doing was paddling. So it was only 6 o'clock and I decided to get on the water again because there's a bunch of campsites that I can choose from up ahead. <sighs> okay, so it's actually only half an hour from the point that I left the last campsite and said that I wanted to paddle another hour or two. But once I saw this site, I was like, okay, I gotta stop. It's just too good. Check out the view. It's right on the edge of this cliff. 
There's nice benches right here overlooking this awesome view. I'm gonna sit here and watch the sunset. Probably hang up my hammock right there. This site on Jeff's map says that the campground is inaccessible due to erosion, which is all this stuff here, as you can see. Um, however, once I had finished that portage, which is right over there, I saw the sign there and a little entryway, so I decided to just go investigate because I thought, well, I don't want to stop, but I'll just let Jeff know if they cleared a path over there. And they have. There's a nice clear path here. The only pain is having to go down there for water, but it's literally like a 30 second walk, so definitely worth it. Well, I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't rain tonight because I set up my tarp kind of more like a lean-to with a little bit of an awning here just so that in the morning when I'm lying in my hammock my alarm goes off I can look out over this awesome view all right well it's getting late it's getting late for me it's 9 30 so I better get in bed see you tomorrow So if anybody who watches my YouTube videos ever makes it to this site on the cliff just past Pearly Dam on the Nipissing River, take a picture of this and you'll get a prize. I've always wanted to carve my name in one of those benches. <laughs> I hope somebody in like 50 years sees that and thinks about who I was and why I was here. So, I slept in this morning, which out here means I slept till 6.30. <laughs> Approaching this portage for this is terrifying because all you hear as you're coming towards it is this huge roar and all you can see in front of you is this drop and you can't see from there how far the drop is but all it looks like is you're heading straight for this waterfall and then the portage is literally right here. I've been uh, <laughs> contemplating time a lot today since carving my name in that bench yesterday and thinking about how people in the future are gonna see it and uh, got me thinking a lot about time and like what is time. <laughs>